kala la liam la ya hawa ba asham ya ushai ba asham raha kwa dash says I'm a one again from the great millstone convention that I'm coming back to do on the edification through the Holy Spirit and power of your hawa ba asham ya ushai alright and um um give all praise and all glory to your hawa ba asham ya ushai Double honesty to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. That's real well. Be some lessons to the elect. And um, without further ado, that is me on the video right there. So these are works that we did. And um, go and just play a little excerpt from it. And as I was saying, Azida, I believe I saw this Jake before. If not, brothers who is be down here more regular. Who living in that area, they, they can, they can, if he's a, like a local um, homeless person or either is he blues 13 and 2, they could confirm if they saw him already. But he was doing the works and I will play the video because he, he started basically prophesying, man. Alright? So, and, and the thing is, he said, you know. So, shall I, um, do food I do them a plate. That is the elect, which is what we striving to be. Members of the elect, that 144,000 men. All right? Hmm. That way I had to strive to be. You don't strive to be a mere man in the kingdom of heaven. But well, once I make it, I make it. No. You aim to the sugar, but it doesn't say you want to shoot for the fucking stars, right? You reach the I, I want to be the only top. That is, is, okay, is according to the most high if he say no, well, it's that. But my mindset is to be one of the 144,000, my. One of them men who you have a shy is going to put a crown on their head. <laughs> Not just a mere, well, I just said there's only the king, no my help. <laughs> I want to be one of the men who you have a shy of a Lord is going to come in that day and take a crop and rest it on his head and say, my son, you did well. Yeah. Like it is hard to wear saying Salah. Yeah. That's going to be a monument. Just as how the Lord told um, Joshua when he parted the river Jordan to set up a stone. Going you understand? Correct. <laughs> Says a gold crown he coming to put on your head, you know. You know, it's a gold crown, it's not a joke crown, it's a crown with diamonds and pearls and all these precious things. The Lord coming to put on your head, yeah, yeah, yeah. So anytime, yeah, when he found a blessed girl. You're correct, you're correct. I know that. Yeah. <laughs> I know we can cure in your life. Right. Hey, found the camera on those jackass. Yeah. We go and show you on the camera. Ready. Yeah, Papa, yo. We can be cure in your life. The man that called Jesus, that white man, is not Jesus. Okay. He's the Messiah. He's a black man like me and you. You're correct. You're correct. All of them things. That them Romans and them put in me face is a lie. It's a lie. That's right. Yeah. That's right. We can do it your life. Correct. From the beginning, from existing, the revelation he talk about the Israelites. Uh. <laughs> from the beginning to the start, we the Alpha and the Omega. Uh. Black man is. Yes. That's no Caucasian man. No, uh, that was the devil. Hmm. Yeah, I'm the Bible speaks. Hey, hey, Jake, 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 yeah, thanks. Like, like, Salak, and like, then the Lord say, you know, the, the multitude, the large multitude, the large multitude waking up and realizing how much, like, that's to show how powerful the word of the Lord is. You know, it converts any souls. Right, brother, yes, brother. Same yeah, thing, man. you man. Yeah, man. Right? He's spreading the good word. That, that, is, that is the life. And the true word. That is the life. 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 Correct. Hmm. Come. Ashkenazi. Ah. Right. 
That's right. <laughs> I can't have you. Good. Shit, them is so called Jew. We is real Jew. Them is Ashkenazi Jews. Them is so called Jews. We is the real Jew. So hey <laughs> Jake 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 waking up. Alright, Jake Jake waking up to this to this wood. They waking up to the, the trickeries of the Edomites. The lies. The, the heresies are the so-called white man the waking up to it and the the fine you know now who's the treasure here the man the man talking he say i know the man say i know see and that's what we have to be we have to be we have to know we know we know who we we are he told us to keep doing the work the work keep teaching the people hold on all right give me some words i encourage man hold on hold on we got peace of right right quick all right because he's our old head right he's our old head and um you see the cigarette in your hand i didn't see you pull it but it's in your hand um book of psalms chapter eight and, um, I read from one. It says to the chief musician upon Get Getith, a psalm of David, O Lord, Yahweh, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, thou who has set thy glory above the heavens, out of the mouth of babes and sucklings has thou ordained the strength. Because of thine enemies, that thou mightest still the enemy and the avenger. So, out of the mouth of babes and sucklings, that Jake was like an old head. But he looked at us and he said, oh, let's keep doing the work. We are the babes and sucklings, beginning with the apostles and the elders. They came into this thing as young men. Let me see what he would. Babes and sucklings going into. Yeah. The internet is kind of get trouble here. <laughs> Tell it here. Right? The babes come from the Hebrew. I, I lal, I lal. Child, boy, little ones. Be young and fun, child, little one. Alright? Yanak. 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 The suckle, the nurse. Right. That is what suckling means, that will be mean. Alright? So it says, well, out of them, out, the Lord ordained strength all right and that beginning with as i see our apostles our elders yeah came on the highways and the byways it hey, is truth is this truth is the the way the, the way all right this truth is the way and um with the jake city jake city lord come into park you're not jokey crown on me head by is a gold crown with, with diamonds and pearls in it. Huh? <laughs> hey, that is that is that is the upper boy. We got any book of second just second just the second chapter. I read from verse fourteen and it says, "Take thy number, o Zion, and shut up those of thine that are clothed in white, which have which have fulfilled the law of the Lord." The number of thy children whom thou longest for is fulfilled. Beseech the power of the Lord that thy people which have been called from the beginning might be hallowed. I saw as just I as just saw upon the Mount Zion a great people, whom I could not number, and they all praised the, the Lord with songs 
and in the midst of them there was a young man of high of a high stature taller than all the rest and upon every one of their heads he said crowns and was more exalted at which i marveled at greatly see and that man who was taller than all the rest was the son of the most high and I just go, the angel go and explain that to Ezra's when I continue. So, so I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of the Most High. Now are they crowned and receive palms? Then said I unto the angel, What young person it, is it that crowned them and giveth them palms in their hand? So he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of the Most High, whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. See? You see? You see? They had to stand stiffly for the name of the Lord, but they go and get a crown. And they say, the son of the Most High, who is, who is that? That's Yahweh Shai, our Lord. All right? The crown, the crown. And putting off the mortal clothing is how you're going to receive that crown. And how do you put off the mortal clothing? Putting off the mortal clothing is, is it begins by change, reforming your, 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 um, your thinking into the thinking of the kingdom of heaven. Being baptized, being cleansed by the words I have about Hashem, I was shy. That is how it starts. That is how putting off the mortal clothing starts. That is the beginning stages. Changing your life. Thinking heavenly, thinking eternal. And then, when the Lord comes, He will change our bodies into a body like His. That it may be fashioned like unto His glorious body, as it says in Philippians. Right, so right now, you, 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 um, if you're doing this work, you're in line to be crowned. That's why it says in, in, in Revelation that no man take thy crown because once you're doing this work, you are in line, you are lining up to be crowned. Think about it you're in a long line to be crowned. It have, it have billions of people wants to be in that who want to be in that line. You is not the only person who want to be in that line, but the Lord call you. That is why you're not special to have replacements for you. You're not the fucking holy grail. Get your, get your, get your little idiotic mind out of that. The Lord can remove you at any given time. So you have to be sincere and do the work and please the Lord in order for him to keep you in that line. Because if you, if you on shit, you could get pulled out of that line by the angels and then somebody else be placed in that line to be crowned because we are in the line up to be crowned right now that is why it says that no man take thy crown what makes us in the position to be crowned or in the line up to be crowned the fact that we have this word dwelling within us this word in our mind all right we, so we, once we endure that is why the apostle paul all right after After the fact that he endured, where is that? Second Timothy, where is it? Chapter 4. And to 6 it says, For I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight, I have finished my course. He say, I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. And the he was talking about he's, he's about to die and he's reflecting on his life and he's saying all what I did when I get called to this ministry I do what the Lord tell me to do I do it I fight the fight and I, I, I run my course and he said well I keep the faith I didn't drop the faith because that man dropping the faith left right and center and it, ultimately that man is not part of the elect that is just all it is Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not to me only, but unto all them also that love is appearing, you see. So 
we have a crown but right now we we have we on we in we on course once we endure to receive a crown that is why it says in, in, in uh, revelation uh, chapter 3 So like yeah, about that. Um, Revelation three and and eleven it says, Behold I come quickly, hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Alright. So is that doctrine the crown yeah? You need a doctrine to hey, think of you need you need the doctrine that in order to be crowned you have to have the doctrine because when the lord come and he examine and if you don't have the doctrine that's why the scriptures talk about son how came is thou in here without a wedding garment right because you don't have the doctrine matter of fact let me read these matthew 22 and 1 it says and yahweh shy and and turn and speak unto them again by parables and said the kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king which made a marriage for his son and sent forth his servants and call to call the men that were bidden to the wedding and they would not come again he sent for other servants saying tell them which are bidden behold i have prepared my dinner my oxen and my fatlings are killed and all things are ready come unto the marriage but they made light of it and went their way one to his farm another to his merchandise and the remnant took his servants and entreated them spitefully and slew them. Right? Which speaking about ultimately the, the marriage supper the lamb. Um the, the, the Messiah is about to come. Calling the men who was who were to come and they they they, they treated which the, 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 the Lord sent out men which was the prophets and they, they killed the prophets. They treat them they treat them bad. Right? The Israelites had back then. But when the king heard thereof, he was wrought and he sent forth his armies and destroyed those murderers and burned up their city. Right? Which happened to Jake. Like one key example was um in same day he was one. Um, but the Babylonians was the next time to burn up the city. Then saith he to his servants, The wedding is ready, but they which were bidden were not worthy. Go ye therefore into the highways and byways, and as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. So those servants went out into the highways and gathered, this is why we had to go on the streets and preach, and gathered together all as many as they found, both bad and good. And the wedding was furnished with guests. When the king came to see the guests, he saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment. Right. You see? You ain't, you ain't have it. You need, and that wedding garment is referring to this word. You ain't clothed with the doctrine. You ain't fully have it right. I'm not talking about a literal garment, they have one a wedding garment. The garment represents the scripture say clothed with doctrine and truth. Find them a high priest clothed with doctrine and truth. And that is what it is. I believe that is in a just uh okay, it's still. Who says just chapter 5 and verse 40 it says for unto them said Nehemiah and Atharias that they should not be partakers of the holy things till they shall uh, till, till they arose up an high priest clothed with doctrine and truth. See, that is the clothes, that is the garments we are to have one. So the Lord come and he see somebody who who does they? What the hell are you doing here? Because you didn't have it. 
You can't gain access to come into this marriage to be crowned because you're not clothed with the with the with the wedding garment. Right? You don't have the name of the Lord, you don't have the, the true word dwelling in you, you're not sincere. Right? And 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 he said unto him, Friend, verse 12, how came his thou in hither without having with not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. He couldn't answer. That is those men that crept in on our ways, and they're going and be found out. It says, Then said the king to his servants, Bind him hand and foot, and take him away into outer darkness. And you going and get kicked out. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth, for many are called, but few are chosen. Because if you don't, if you're not clothed, because this wedding is the marriage chamber of the Lamb. With the, with the crowning and all of that, go and take this. The ceremony, basically. And you in, you in clothes, how the fuck you could get in? You can't get in. Right? Revelation, what is that, 19? Is that what you marriage? marriage and a crowning when that is when the Lord come back to crown yeah and the marriage is when the leg get delivered right the marriage is when the leg get delivered right Revelation 19 7 and, and I was now there Revelation 19 7 it says let us be glad and rejoice let me read from 6, it says, and, as I, and I heard as it were the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of mighty thundering, saying, Hallelujah, which is Hallelujah, which is Halal is praise, La to Hallelujah, praise to Yahweh, Yah short for Yahweh, praise to Yahweh, for the Lord power, Omnipotent, reign it all powerful. Omni is all potent, is power, all potency, all powerful. Reign it. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife had made herself ready, which is the elect. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, for the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. And what makes me righteous? Psalms 119 and 9. How shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed there to according to thy word. And that is how we had to be clothed. That is, the, that, is the, that is the clothing. And if you had that clothing on, if you have on that clothing, you could um, be crowned. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Verse 9, and he says unto me, Right, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said thee, unto me, These sayings, that these are the true sayings of the Mosai. So, you have to be clothed. If, you don't, if you're not clothed, you cannot get crowned. So that is why the Apostle Paul said things like, that I have ministered and do minister. Um, that I keep under my body and bring it unto subjection. That's by any means when I have preached to others, I myself shall be a cast away. Um, endure. He enjoy all things in the elect's sake. Yeah, which I say, um, he that enjoy it unto the end, the same shall be saved. That is why these things are, are said. Because that is why the Lord also say, 
Not everyone that's here unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom because it's not about just calling on the name of the Lord. They have to be sincere as well. So, hey, but you getting kind of low, so I will close it off there. But hey, that Jake, that Jake said some heavy things, all right? He said some heavy, heavy things. So, yeah. Hopefully it was edified and until the next time I'm coming back again just now and do our next video so shallow one. Yeah, Bashamia Shai Bashamaka Kodash Bracket come.